Okay, this is a Mac Pro 2010 with a RX 590 Sapphire card in it. I'm on High Sierra, the uh, last update of it. So, this card has metal in it supposedly. I should now be able to install High Sierra. So, I have this last High Sierra update on here, 10.13.6. I have a metal card in here. I should be able to install Mojave now. There's Mojave. Click on it. Download. All right, well, for once, it's uh, letting me download Mojave on this old Mac, 2010 Mac Pro. So, I did have Mojave on a uh, USB stick, and I figured, why am I doing that? So, that's before I could download it. I was trying to just shove it on there, but it wouldn't go. So, now we'll try the download and see if Mojave will uh, go on this old computer here. So, I like this thing. It's iconic. This is a really the first good server Apple made and yeah it's 2010 it's long in the tooth I do want to put some better processors in this thing let's see what's in it now uh, there's the SATA configuration on this thing right now I got 32 gig in this thing of course, I'm just stalling, waiting, waiting for the download here to happen for you guys. Storage. There's a hard drive in here, not even an SSD. Power supply. Bluetooth device. There again is a graphics card. What am I after here? Processors. Hardware memory, PCI, parallel power printers, network, software. I don't see where it says processors on here, hardware. Oh, there is. Well, no. Nope, nope, nope. No. How are we doing on our download here? Download is almost done. I'm using Comcast internet, which is pretty fast. And I have a hard wire to the uh, router downstairs. Ethernet cards. Oh well, I, I know I don't have the latest Xeons in this thing, that's for sure. This thing could use six core Xeons. I could have 12 cores. I think I only have like uh, eight cores right now. So next thing I do is if Mojave works on this thing, I want to put in some new Xeons to get it rolling fast. And the uh, sapphire in here is rolling rolling along here. It's not really heating up. I'm glad the ARX 590 sapphire works in this thing. It's pretty cool. I don't think many people have put in 590s yet. The 590 just came out I think a few months ago. So I read some guy said it worked, and sure enough, it does work. So uh, the device ID is probably very close to the 580. So device ID on this thing is uh, is a what? All right. Looks like Mojave is ready to go. It wants a firmware update. The last time I tried this, it was really painful to get the update in for uh, getting the update in for uh, High Sierra was not too fun. Let's try it out. Close this. Close this. Come on, baby, work. Boom. All right, that's good. Put in my password, and we'll go.
Click, click, click. There's the password. It's putting a helper now. All right, so I'm guessing this thing's now gonna throw in firmware for uh, Mojave. Well, that's not too fun, is it? But my card is not supported. I hope this thing works and doesn't blow up. Okay, it shut down. I think I gotta hold the button down until it blinks. Let's do that. There's the button. Until it blinks. And I'm blind here with no display, right? Come on, blink, blink, blink. It's not blinking. There it goes. Let it go, it should beep. All right, now I have a non-Mac display card, the Sapphire, so. I don't know what this thing will be doing as far as firmware update. It should have like a bar going across here right now, but without an approved card. Whoa, okay, that's good. If a drive opens up, it's working. So we're getting Mojave firmware in this old devil here. That usually means it took, so. All right, Mojave firmware, here we come. Just watch this thing a while. It should power off when it's done and reboot, I think. So it's a waiting game. You don't dare turn the machine off right now. Okay, it went off. Machine is off. The drive closed. It's going back on. And I think now if I click on Mojave installer, it should work. Install Mojave. Since the installer is uh, downloaded. Let's see what happens. Of course, with the Sapphire, I have no boot screen. Just got to wait it out. And once this thing didn't boot at all, it just sat here, so... I'm wondering if it's going to do that again. It did turn itself back on. Okay, I hear the drive. Can you hear it? You know, the drive was chattering here. Yep. It's booting or doing something. No display yet. Uh, drives are going pretty good now. Okay, the drive is working. There's the screen. There's my login. Let's go back on this thing. Okay, local password. All right. Let's try it out. There we go. Agree. Install it. Wants a password again. Damn it. There's a password. Ten minutes remaining. All right. So Mojave, I suppose, will install on this uh, 2010 Mac Pro. 
with a Sapphire RX 590. So let's wait and see what happens. And looks like it's going to take a long time. So maybe it's time to go down and watch a Bachelor in Paradise video on TV and uh, chill out. Thanks for watching. And check out the next video for Mojave if it installs in this thing. Okay, thanks for watching. Have a great day.